What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here, back with another episode of Motorsport Manager, and this is going to be kind of the last episode of the season. This is going to be race 10, which is the final race of season 1, and then I think we're going to make the second episode um, of this season, it's going to be kind of like a crossover, it's going to be the end of this season, uh, start of the next season, and that's going to be episode 11, which this is episode 10, and um, if you guys notice, there might be a little bit of crossover between the last episode. There was a little bit of an issue with episode 10 the first time I recorded it, so I went ahead and I went back, and we're just going to do this all over again. But pretend like nothing happened as I'm doing my Jedi mind wave. Anyways, uh, so we've got 24 days until the next race. Uh, we're going to design another car part, and here's one thing that I actually noticed that I really didn't notice before, and this is kind of on me. But it tells us right here, best in championship are car stats. Overall, we're pretty crappy. As you can see there, we're ninth place team, which is probably why we're in ninth place. However, it seems like our top speed's actually not... I mean, we're still in ninth. But um, compared to all the other components, the um, the gearbox, the brakes, the suspension, our, our engines are actually better than the other three. So I'm thinking, although I would love to get a better engine, I'm thinking we might need a better gearbox because that seems to be the lowest quality out of all of the four parts that we can actually design. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, gearbox. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Actually, you know what? Before we even do that, I want to see, ooh, I want to see what the um, components that we have, what their uh, kind of statistics are. So we've got an 88 and a 48, which are both actually pretty miserable. So we definitely want to improve on those. But then the gearboxes, we're at 76 and 39. Um, it seems like, let's see. I mean, we could definitely do a better gearbox. I'd really like another engine and another gearbox, to be honest with you. Uh, another suspension, too. Uh, another another set of brakes as well. I mean, there's there's I really want to work on a lot of things. But according to that chart, our engine's actually much better than everything else. So let's actually take a look and see what we can do with the gearbox. Uh, we can do three slots, which is nice. Reliability, don't care about. Acceleration. Ooh, I like this red zone. But I think what we're going to do... Let's take that off. 21. I mean, the negative 10 would be nice, but we're going to do plus 20 here. Then I think, let's see, uh, build time plus acceleration. It's going to be uh, risk level, but we don't have to use it. Uh, build time plus 5 plus 40 to max, so it'd be a 34 out of 81 if we did that. Hmm. Ooh, build time plus 2, acceleration 15. Let's see, if we did plus 50 and plus 40, we'd be able to go all the way up to a 131, which would be huge. Absolutely huge. We'd still be uh, the same as far as the red zone. I think I really like that. 131 for the gearbox, that would be huge. An 84 would already be the best gearbox we have, I think. If not the best, it'd only be uh, short by about four. And then it does have the risk level, but that's going to go away after this race. I really think, you know what, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to go with the gearbox as opposed to the engine this time. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll tell them to build the part. It's going to cost us 1.2 million, but, but, guys, um... You know, don't don't jump on me because we are going to get some money at the end of the year. And then we also do have a few sponsors over here, too, which we're actually going to work on. Uh, we're going to wait uh, to pick up some more sponsors until we're a little bit closer to the last race of the season. Now, let's just make sure we have everything maxed out here. Um, performance needs to be maxed out on both of our brakes, which it should be. And then uh, we're looking fine on the engines. They're all maxed out. Um, we could do... We should do another gearbox, even though this is the one that we're going to actually lose. This one's not going to carry over into next season, so I'm not too worried about that. And then uh, we could actually work on the suspension, which is already set, so that's nice. And then why not uh, put in a final few little finishing touches on a few of these components. Let's do brakes. We'll do uh, both of our engines over here. And then let's do the uh, the gearbox over here. So that'll uh, that'll probably get done little bit there we go we could do something like that um, you know let's actually focus on it a little bit more on the improvement that way we can improve a few more things let's go ahead and hit continue reliability is going to be uh, done here on the 14th we can go ahead and we can actually pause that because the game is not going to pause that for us 
So yeah, all the uh, the parts that we put in there are at 100%, so that is quite nice. Let's go ahead and improve this gearbox, even though uh, we're not going to be carrying it into the next season, but I would still like to have it improved further before this upcoming race. We can do the same thing for the rear wing, and then we'll do both of the suspensions. And again, that's something that's going to be done before this final race. We have 16 days. This is going to be done seven days before the race. Let's check out our sponsors now, too. This is the max that we're going to have, so I think we're just going to um, go ahead and pick our sponsors for uh, for the remainder of the season. Silver, uh, Silverdew. I almost thought that said Silverado. Silverdew, Shield. Let's see, so this one's going to be 4 million. Over the course of 10 races, we'll get 400,000 every race. That's going to add up to 4 million. This is less than half, although it is for 8 races as opposed to 10. And then this one here is going to translate to 2.35. So... Oh, this is the most money overall, and it's not even really close. 2.35, 4 million, 8 races, 8 races, 10. We're going to go with Ravelli. Even though it doesn't give us an upfront payment at all in the long run, that is going to give us 4 million bucks, so we'll definitely go with them. Now let's go ahead and check out our per race. 4th, 5th, and 6th. I don't think we can achieve any of these, so I'm going to just go ahead and take the uh, the highest upfront payment. So we'll do that. It's going to give us a nice 750000 bucks, And then let's see what we've got over here. 11th, 12th, and 14th. Hmm. 11th is doable, I think. And that's for six races. Uh, the Luxina is for also for six races, and that's going to be three hundred grand right now, plus $250 per, uh, per race. I mean, I think, I think we're going to go with Luxina. Big Doe... 14th, that's, uh, you know what, we can finish better than, yeah, yeah, but we could definitely finish better than 14th. Let's go ahead and go with Lexina. 12th, we'll get 250 per race, and then we'll also get the 300 grand. So pretty much these are equal. Um, 250 uh, per race, and the 300 up front is going to equal to uh, what Deutsche Air over here is offering, so we're going to go with Lexina. Let's go ahead and confirm that. And now we're only losing 311000 which will actually get even better. Um, we're not going to be losing that after this race. Let's go ahead and continue. Now I... Ooh. Falco Engelhart caught embezzling? What? Shock news for no slack racing fans. Their top driver, Falco Engelhart, is wanted for embezzlement in Trinidad and Tobago. We have reason to believe that Falco is involved in various dubious property schemes around the island, said Chief Prosecutor Vincent Rose. If he shows his face around here, by God, we'll put him behind bars. A spokesman for Falco informed the press that the driver would not be answering any questions on the matter and, furthermore, would not be visiting the Caribbean any time soon. Okay, so this is a timed... Uh, let's see, so I took a little money, so what? He admits to it, 20 weeks, and that's marketability negative 15. Okay, well, you better not embezzle funds from us, buddy. Don't do it. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's check out our car. Improve parts. Our um, performance is actually maxed out. So let's see. Both of the brakes are maxed out that we're taking into next season. The engines are both maxed out. Uh, we could do this gearbox over here even though we are getting the new one. But uh, again, why not just bump it up those two points and, uh, before the last race of the season? And then we can't really do anything with the suspensions. They're maxed out as well. How's our car looking now overall? It's still pretty crappy. Uh, nothing really changed. Seems like the deceleration maybe went up a little bit, but no major changes to report on there. Okay. World Motorsports Championships. Race 15 of 16. We'll get there eventually. Not in the next few seasons, but we will get there eventually. Now our headquarters is uh, bumping up nice too. We're actually in sixth place as far as that goes. Let's check this out. Sponsorships. Okay, so nice. We're second in sponsors, which is actually pretty, you know, surprising. Although Falco did have the uh, the really good marketability when we first hired him, so that might have something to do with it. Our staff is okay. Middle of the road. We're in sixth. Um, that's something that we can improve on in later seasons, though. Headquarters, we are sixth as well. That's something we'll probably improve on next season as well. Drivers were sixth. Hmm. Okay. Well, I feel like Octane Racing is going to lose their two best drivers because they're both going to retire soon. Actually, not Octane. Uh, Garuda, which is actually surprising. 
it shows here, look at that, Bochamp and uh, Ja, both for Garuda Racing, they're actually number one and two in the driver standings. However, it's showing here that they have the 10th best drivers. That's interesting. I mean, I kind of find that hard to believe, but maybe, does Garuda have the best cars? Garuda has the second best cars, according to this, so, you know what, that might have something to do with it. Just the uh, drivers aren't the best, but maybe their cars are. Which is something that we're gonna hope to uh, hope to get to. Okay, so our gearbox is done. Let's go ahead and try to max out that before the end of the season. Uh, we have the gearbox. It's at an 84, although it can go all the way to 131, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, but it is in legal part, so we're not gonna use it this upcoming race, regardless of how much we improve on that. But we are going to. I think we have to focus on that performance. That's most important try to get at that up to as close to 131 as we possibly can let's go ahead and continue and we're gonna do our final race of the season and then as you guys can see right there um, the championship and all that is gonna be at the very end contracts running down Gomez and uh, so Andre Gomez and Anano Ferreira are both uh, expiring contracts I think everybody else is actually back for another season our lead designer is going to be back for one more year. Billy Evans and Gary Watson, both of our race mechanics, are actually going to be here for another year, which is nice. And then let's check out, let's check out our drivers. Falco is here for another two years. Our reserve and um, Andre Gomez are both done after this uh, month, which I'm not quite sure if we're going to, we're probably not going to bring back Anano at all. And then Andre Gomez over here. I don't know, he's been kind of uh, pissing me off lately, so I'm not sure we're going to bring him back. We'll we'll find out, though. That's going to be not in this episode, but in the next episode. Alright, I think we are going to do the uh, the Luxina, the 12th or above. And let's go ahead and fit our parts, even though I think that is pretty much the way we want it. Uh, Falco's going to have the best parts again, which he does. Uh, I don't want to use these brakes just because they have the risk, the rules risk violation, which we would lose the part, so we're not going to touch those until next season. Uh, so brakes, we're fine. That's the way we want it set up. Engine is fine as well. Front wing doesn't really matter. Gearbox, we're going to leave that the way that is, which I like that this is already at a 95, although it does need to jump up to 131, hopefully before the end of the season. It probably won't, but let's hope it does. So that's all good there, that doesn't matter, and we are good there as well. Let's go ahead and continue. Now I have high hopes for this last race of the season. I really, really, really do. I would really love for both drivers to finish in the top 10, although I find that pretty hard to believe that it's going to happen. Just Andre Gomez, his car is absolute garbage. Um, I know I give him a, a very hard time, uh, but his car is trash. Even though he is kind of a trash driver for us right now, especially with his whiplash. But uh, we'll see. We will see. The Black Sea Grand Prix, round 10 out of 10. Alright guys, final season of season 1. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this series. I will be doing uh, season 2 like I've already said. And I highly anticipate that we're going to go into season 3 in the next probably 2 weeks. I mean... I really like this game, I like playing it, I play it quite a bit. I play this more than any of the other games, which is uh, why you guys can clearly see that I upload this game a lot more often than the other games. But uh, we'll see if that continues. I do plan on doing a little bit more Sim Airport as well as, um, as, well as some more Prison Architect and stuff like that. So it is raining, uh, we're definitely going to have to use the Inters and the Intermediates. And I think we're looking good there. Let's go ahead and change Falco's setup. Downforce, I think, is fine. Handling, let's go ahead and move that. And balance, we're going to stick with that. We've got the intermediates on. Let's go ahead and do this. Take practice. So, yeah. Um, we're going to do more Prison Architect. We are going to do more... I think we're going to do more Sim Airport. And the way I'm thinking that we're going to do it is Sim Airport is going to be strictly a weekend series. So pretty much like Monday through Friday, we'll do maybe like three episodes of Motorsport Manager and then we'll do two episodes of Prison Architect. And then on the weekends, maybe we'll do um, the Sim Airport on both game, uh, both days. And then uh, who knows what the other videos are going to be. Just because I'd like to have, on the weekends I think I'd like to have two videos each day. 
which is with you know it would add up to a uh, nine videos a week which is actually pretty tough um, right now I'm kind of having a little bit of a hard time just doing the seven episodes or seven videos a week but uh, you know what I might try to do that might try to bump it up to nine all right downforce everything is pretty poor we're gonna need to make some uh, major adjustments over here We'll do something like that handling we can kind of go actually see speed balance and handling will go towards the other direction hardcore and then we could send you back out Gomez coming in here also doesn't like how his is set up whatsoever 29% ouch all right we'll bump it up more that way we'll do the same thing over here and over here hopefully that'll be somewhat better and go ahead and go out now because this is the last race of the season I'm gonna try to uh, bring these guys in as much as possible just so that we can have their cars tuned all the way to the max try to get those uh, two tenth place finishes you know top ten place finishes I was also thinking about maybe doing some Civ 6 games, even though I've never really gotten into these Civilization games. But they do look pretty fun, although they do look pretty intense with uh, a lot of stuff to do. And this tuning was awesome. We went from 63 all the way to 92. So that's quite... I, I like it. I like it a lot. I think we're going to uh, just do some minor adjustments here on handling. We'll do a little bit of adjustment on speed balance. Hopefully that'll bring those to uh, amazing or excellent. Then on the downforce, I think we're going to do uh, some adjustments there as well. We'll do something like that, and then we can maybe do the handling a little bit more. We'll see how that works out for us there. Let's see what Gomez has, uh, what he's working with. Definitely got better. Definitely went up from the 26 or 29 or whatever it was. All the way up to 73, which is nice. Handling, again, we'll just bump up a little bit. Speed balance, I think we're going to have to move quite a bit again. And then the downforce, we'll move that even further. Uh, let's go with that. We'll send them out for one more lap. Bring them in again. And then we'll probably let them race for the rest of the, uh, rest of the remaining time. So this is going to be the third adjustment that we make. And then uh, we'll be able to make a fourth adjustment just before the race. Yes, like I said, I was thinking about doing the Civilization game. Um, I was also thinking about doing, um, I don't remember what it's called now, like a military strategy kind of game. Um, I'm a little upset, though, that uh, the Steam sale ended. I was planning on getting some more things, and I kind of dropped the ball. Okay, so we went in the wrong direction. Hmm. Okay, so we definitely need to go back to where we were with the speed balance. Let's try to get that back. Okay, I think we're going to stick with that. We were, uh, let's see, great, great. So those are both still great. Poor, great, great. Yeah, I think we went in the wrong direction on the handling. So we'll do that. We will do that. I think we're going to try to bump up the speed balance a little bit more. Let's do something like that. Uh, I think that's going to be good there. And then the downforce, let's see, poor, good. Okay, so we definitely need to go in the other direction. Um, so poor, good, okay. We're going to need to bump that to like right there. And then of course that mess with the handling and the speed balance. Handling, let's go ahead and move. Well, let's try that, why not? And then let's see, we were great there. So that definitely needs to come down, the speed balance. Uh, let's do something like, let's try that. Oh, uh, let's give that a shot. We'll see how that works out for us. Oh, nice. You have an excellent right now. Great, excellent, and I want to say good. 93%, not bad at all. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead. Downforce will tune just a little bit more. We'll try to leave the um, the excellent alone, and then the speed balance. We were poor. Let's see, we we're very poor, poor, and good. Very poor, poor, and good. 
Let's try to move that. Mm. Let's go over just the one. <clears throat> then I think, uh, is our excellent still? No, our excellent actually moved. We want to bring that back to where that was. Something like that. Let's give that a shot. And we're going to just let them go for the remainder of the 5 minutes and 15 seconds. And then if we need to and we have, you know, uh, an idea of where we want to adjust things, we can do that right before the race. But I think right now both of these guys are going to be right around the mid-90s, which is, uh, you know, perfectly acceptable. Now, I'm still curious as to what to do with Andre Gomez, just because he does seem to be a pretty talented driver, and he's still young. Uh, doesn't really have too much potential, um, although he does now because of his injury. I mean, he can only get back to where he was, but uh, he can't improve too much on his, I want to say he's, what, like three and a quarter stars or something like that? And I don't know if we'll have the money to actually uh, hire a much better driver than Andre next season. Um, I kind of want to spend things in different areas. I want to improve our headquarters, and I definitely want to uh, develop some more parts, which the parts can get pretty expensive. Even if we just did, like, one part in each category, you know, like the engine, the gearbox, uh, the suspension, and the brakes, that's going to run us about four or five million. Um, so, you know, I, I just don't think we're going to invest too much money in a better driver. So maybe we will bring back Gomez, who knows, we'll see. And maybe we can get a better driver who's actually cheaper. Maybe we can get somebody who has, like, four-star potential, but is only a one-star driver right now. You know, that's, that'd be acceptable for me. I wouldn't mind that. Let them develop over the course of, you know, two or three seasons. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Last race of the season. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much. Um, right now the track is absolutely soaked. Which, I mean, we actually drive better on the, uh, the wet uh, tracks. It seems like. It might just be in my head, but I think we do. If I'm not mistaken, I think Falco maybe won or uh, finished second on a race where there was some water on the track. All right. It said I must be a worried man after that uh, pl practice session, which, you know what? Our practice sessions have been sucking for quite some time, so you know what? I'm used to it. All right, we're going to do the uh, race trim, and you know what? Is it going to? Let's cancel this. Is it going to rain? doesn't look like it. It's going to be a cold day, but it doesn't look like it's going to be raining. So I think we're going to go with a race trim, and then let's do the uh, the soft tires. They're going to wear more slowly, which is going to be advantageous to us more than the intermediate tires. And I think I don't I don't think I want to do the super overtake mode just because that's going to it's going to kill our fuel. And then uh, let's come over here. We'll do the race trim, and you know we'll just do the intermediate tires. Falco doesn't have uh, too much of anything there. So let's see, we're at 98%. We're definitely using that setup. That's going to be quite nice. 26 laps, 11 laps worth of fuel. So again, we're going to have to pit twice, which is the norm. Uh, you know, I think we're going to go with the mediums. Just to start off the race, we're going to do mediums. I hate pitting too uh, too quickly. Um, let's see, Falco's setup here actually might have gotten worse. Uh, we went from 92 to 84 to 93. I think we're just going to use that. I'm not going to tune that too much. Again, we're going to go with, um, Falco doesn't have any bonuses for soft, medium, or intermediate. Oh, he has the intermediate, but we're not going to use those. So I think we'll just stick with the medium. We'll give him the 11 laps. And let's go ahead and bump up the strategy like we always do. We're going to attack. We're going to do overtake for both of our drivers at the very beginning of the race. And then we'll probably move those down somewhat quickly. All right, so Gomez is starting third, and Falco is fourth. And let's see what these guys do. All right, nice. Falco there in second. Took a nice little uh, little lead. Up, oh, dropped down a third. All right. Um, I don't want to push their vehicles too hard, just because the, uh, the parts do wear down very quickly when they're on this uh, overtake mode. So I think I'm actually going to drop them down now. We'll do high. Uh, tires are still fine. I'll drop you down to high as well. Actually, we'll go down to medium on yours since you're in seventh place. We'll maybe just try to maintain that for a little bit. Uh, we can actually drop down the tires a little bit as well. Just because they're right in the sweet spot right now. They're right where we want them. 
Safety car is leaving the garage, one lap left. Um, from my experiences, we are not going to pit right now because we are in third and seventh. So we would lose a lot of positioning. And there's nothing really that we need to pit for right now. So we're just going to go ahead we're going to follow this safety car uh, for the next lap. And then they're going to pit on the other lap. So really it's going to be two laps worth of following the safety car. So it's going to be a boring race. But at least we have uh, Dreyfus from, I want to say, Octane Racing out of it. So that's nice. Um, while this is going on, I'm thinking, you know what, we're going to go back up and low. Back up and low. For both of these guys, just until the safety car goes bye-bye. Now, I'm a little curious as to... I mean, the tire temperatures are going down, which makes absolute sense, right? They're going so slow right now. But if we bump them up, let's try this over here on Gomez's. Let's bump up the t driving style to attack, and let's see if the um, the tire temperatures actually go up. Looks like, yeah, they definitely are. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll warm those suckers up so when they actually start racing, um, the tires aren't like stone cold. Which is kind of interesting, like why... I mean, maybe they're doing some, like, zigzagging or something, just to kind of keep them warm. I, uh, I've seen them do that before in races, like, when they're going super slow, they'll kind of do, like, quick zigzags just to keep the, uh, the tires nice and toasty. Um, let's go ahead and we'll go to medium for both of you guys. And then once the tires do kind of warm up, we will switch back down to, uh, kind of conservative tire wear. Flacco's now in fifth, sixth. He's losing positioning, seventh, battling for sixth. Um, we can actually change your driving style back to neutral. And then you're warming up pretty quickly too, so we're going to change you. Uh, we're now in 11th and 17th. That is disgusting. That is absolutely horrible. Falco, you need to pick your stuff up, dude. 13th. Come on, man. Alright, we'll bump up your driving style to high. Hopefully you can catch up a few more positions. And then you are on the medium, so I think we're going to actually make the, uh, like, we'll do four or five more laps. Gomez is probably going to pit a little bit sooner, or maybe not. Mm, let's lower your tire temperature over here. And then you, you actually need to bump that up a little bit. It's kind of dipping a little bit. Looks like Falco is going to have to pit first. Uh, Falco, he dropped all the way from, what was it, like 4th to 16th? That was pretty quick. Uh, but he is in a, in a nice little cluster right there. There we go. Catch up a little bit of ground, dude. Fifteenth. No, let's actually set him. Let's let's go in overtake. Pretty sure all his parts are at 100% anyways, and we want him to gain some ground here. Um, some cars are probably going to pit because they're running on the softs. So they'll probably pit one or two laps before we need to. Although we are on 37% with our tires, so... I think we'll probably only get two more laps max, which we do have the uh, the 2.8 miles or laps worth of fuel left anyways. Falco's in 10th, Gomez is in 13th. Their tires are both looking okay. We could probably lower the tire um, style, the driving style, to neutral for Falco. Get that back down, maybe make another lap. Um, yeah, so Falco's definitely going to have to pit after this one, without a doubt. Let's go ahead and schedule him to pit. And I think we have 17 laps remaining. Hmm, maybe we should run the softs. So let's look at the weather real quick. You know what, I think we're going to do one lap of softs. Or not one lap, but one, uh, one go around worth of softs. We will give him the maximum. I will do the 11 laps of fuel. Park condition is looking just fine. And we should be good there. And then on the next lap after that, Gomez can pit. Let Falco go through, and then uh, the next lap, Gomez will go through. Gomez's tires could probably uh, cool down a little bit before we do that. Just because he's already in the red over here. Percentage-wise, you know. Alright, so Falco just went into the pit. Gomez is going to do this, uh, this one last lap, and then we're going to actually have him come in and pit. And, you know what, I think he's actually got the soft... Uh, the specialty, you know, the 15% bonus or whatever, so we're going to go with that. Fuel options, again, we're going to bump you up as far as we can. 
Park condition is looking okay. And let's go. Let's do it. Great pit stop as far as refueling there for Falco, which is nice. He is in 17th, but he's going to be good to go here for the next 10 laps. And we'll actually put him on medium, medium for everything. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's switch him up to a uh, high on the uh, the engine mode, just because I want him to kind of gain ground on some of these cars in front of him. Uh, Gomez should be coming into pit lane. Oh, he is good, good, good. Uh, good on both of his pits, refueling and the tires. Although he dropped down all the way to 19. He's well, he was one of the last ones to um, to pit though, so he might actually be in a decent little position here. Uh, I think we're gonna need to do uh, better temperature on the tires for both of these guys let's go ahead and do that and then I think we'll be uh, able to finish on the medium tires the rest of the race once we pit for both of these guys they'll both switch over to the mediums and then those those should last them for the remainder of the race all right you know what? I, we might be able to get away with so we, we have 13 laps to go we might be able to get away with the uh, another set of softs Falco, buddy, come on, dude. Thirteenth. You're battling, though. You're right there. Let's set you to overtake mode. Let's check out your car parts, too. Uh, and, oh, man, great. You have to pit. Awesome. Oh, yeah, we have to pit. All right, let's see. There's 13 laps remaining. Uh, if we do the mediums, we should be able to do those for the rest, although we're not going to be able to do the fuel, so that sucks. We'll do new softs. Oh man, this sucks. 12 laps remaining. We're not going to be able to. Although, if we did like conservative, we might be able to do that. Let's. Oh man. 12 laps remaining after this pit stop, but we only have 11 laps worth of fuel. We can do the 11 laps and just switch over to conservative and hope that this is the last pit that we need. Or. We're just going to have to pit two more times. This and one more time. Which I think, you know what, let's just go ahead. We'll go very, very, we'll take a chance. We'll do the medium tires. Those are going to last the rest of the race. We'll do the 11 laps of fuel. Uh, we have to fix this part over here. And then I think we're just going to try to make it the rest of the race with that one pit stop. Uh, so Falco, we're going to switch you over to, um, we'll do neutral and we will do low. Hopefully that will keep you going for the rest of the race. It might and it might not. And then Gomez, let's kind of uh, look at you here a little bit. Condition of your car parts are fine. Your tires are good too, so we'll do medium, medium there. And uh, you're our best hope for a top 12 finish because we need that sponsor objective money. I want to say it's $250,000. I would really like that. So yeah, hopefully Falco can finish the race with his fuel that he's got right now. He should be okay on the tires. Um, we do have them set to um, neutral. Which, um, again, the tires should make it the rest of the race. The fuel is going to be iffy, although we are on the absolute most conservative fuel mode that we can be on. Which, as you can see, clearly he's getting passed up, no problem. Which is pretty, uh, it's not something that I really like to see. He just got lapped, as a matter of fact, by the second place car. His tires are not very warm. Let's go ahead and bump those up. I think we'll probably just have to, uh, put him on everything higher and then just have him pit one more time. Which is gonna suck. But I just don't think we're gonna make it the rest of the race. You know what? Let's do that. We'll do uh, we'll do overtake. We'll do push. We're gonna bump you. Sorry, Falco. You're gonna have to pit one more time. I'm just not gonna sit here and watch you uh, go so slow. Gomez is gonna be fine. He's got about three more laps in him before he has to pit. Falco is in 15th. Gomez is in ninth now. He just jumped up. I'm guessing that's because uh, Luigi Marchetta um, did a pit stop. So ninth place would be nice. Very, very nice. I'd be okay with that. And I'm thinking too, why don't we uh, go ahead and pit... You know what, let's go ahead and wear these tires out a little bit more. 
and then we'll go ahead and we'll schedule a pit right here and then we'll have you finish out the race on the soft tires Let's make sure that everything is good here. It is. We'll have you finish out on the soft tires. That's going to do eight laps. Uh, we'll give you, let's do 8.3 laps worth of fuel. Your parts are looking okay. They should make it through the rest of the race. And I think Gomez will actually be in a pretty decent spot here. Maybe not. Just because uh, the top six already have all pit. Actually, eight through, what, 12, 13, 14, 15. So everybody has pit twice. So Gomez is actually going to be one of the last ones to pit right here. So uh, while he's in the pit, everybody should be passing him up pretty easily. Went from 8th to 13th in a matter of like 2 seconds. And looks like he's going to leave in 15th. Falco actually just passed him up. Um, your tires are looking fine. Let's go ahead, we'll put you on neutral, and we'll put you on high overtake mode. And then over here, we are going to bump you to, let's do, tires are fine. Let's go down to high. Let's check out your park conditions. Everything looks okay except for the gearbox, which should still make it the rest of the race. So you know what, let's just go ahead and have you uh, go to overtake mode. And then you're definitely going to have to pit. Um, let's see, are we going to make it, let's cancel this. You are at 39% with your tires. You you might make it. Uh, however, you are definitely going to need to fuel. Let's see. Uh, Falco's in 13th, and he's one second behind 12th. Um, we're really going to have to pit, though. All right. We're not going to switch out the tires. We're going to keep that the way it is. Uh, we're going to do three laps worth of fuel. Park condition is looking fine. So really, he's only going to pit for the uh, the fuel. And that's because uh, he had the broken part that we just had to come in uh, to fix. Which was unfortunate. I think if we hadn't had gotten that broken part, Falcon would be a good, uh, let's see, probably, probably three or four spots ahead of where he is right now. So he's in there. Okay, five seconds. Not bad. Not a bad pit stop, although he is dropping, I think. Well, still 14th. And let's go ahead and lower the engine mode over there. Just because it doesn't say uh, excess fuel, which is a little, a little disappointing. Uh, we gave him an extra, I think, like one lap of, of fuel. So I don't see why his uh, fuel strategy, why he wouldn't be good enough to go the rest of the race, you know? Gomez here is in 12th. His parts are looking fine. He'll make it the rest of the race. Should make it the rest of the race, no problem. Let's watch him. He's in 12th right now, so we really can't afford to have Gomez drop down one more spot. And the 11th place driver does look like he has some sort of a mechanical issue, so no reason for Gomez to not pass uh, the 11th place driver up. Falco finished, and Gomez, oh, Gomez finished as well, okay. Well, I mean, hey, we finished, 12th, we got the money, that's, that's the most important thing. 12th and 14th. I'm not happy with those results, but I am happy that we at least got the sponsor bonus. So, I mean, that's that's good there, I guess. That is good there, I guess. Hmm. Scrutineering, nothing to fail, so I'm not worried about that whatsoever. That was the last race of the season, so um, all of our parts should actually be completely legal next season, here in the next episode. Let's go ahead and check out the final standings, who wins what, how much money we get. I want to say it's going to be somewhere close to, oh, I don't know, maybe 10, 10 or $12 million that we're going to get for finishing in ninth. Which then we have the $7 million that's going to go into next year's car, which it's not going to really be able to improve all that much with the $7 million. But um, that 10 or $12 million that we get for the... Uh, the finish is actually going to help us out quite a bit. All right, events results, good to go there. Championship standing. So let's check this out. Drivers, see, look at that. We had the two Garuda drivers who apparently aren't really all that good. Uh, finished one and two, and apparently that's because their cars are so, so awesome. But we finished in 17th and 18th, respectively, Falco and Andre. 
81 points, 71. If Falco had actually raced every race, he probably would have finished closer to, I don't know, 15th, maybe, maybe as high as 12th. Uh, however, we will never know because we hired him a little late into the season. Let's check out the team standings. We were 10 points shy of finishing tied for 8th, and we were well above 10th, the, uh, the Predator Racing Group, which only had 119 points. But uh, yeah, definitely room for improvement. And as we can see here, uh, Bochamp was the uh, the world champion with 196 points. And I'm pretty sure, let's see, yeah, 2016 team winners, Garuda. And I'm pretty sure both of their drivers are going to retire here next season. And see, look, look at that. Bochamp was only a one star, not even a one star. And then Ja was a two star. That's pretty interesting. So that just lets you know that their cars are so much better than ours. That's definitely what we need to focus on, is improving our car parts uh, in Season 2. You can see right here, look at that. Drivers, man, we're above the, uh, the average. We're, we're good. Let's go ahead and continue, see what happens here. We have an interview request, which we will do. Mustafa El Sadat was hit by Falco Engelhardt during the race. Do you have a message for the German driver? That was terrible from Falco. He needs to buck his ideas up. It was a racing incident. Both of the drivers were at fault, and I think Mustafa was at fault. We're not going to throw our driver under the bus. We're going to say it was Mustafa's fault, which is just going to make it to where he doesn't want to sign with us. I am not concerned about that whatsoever. And, okay, so car repairs are going to be complete here. And the uh, championship promotion and the prize money is going to get uh, awarded now. Let's check that out. Bags retired. Roberts. Capello. Sepala, Vasquez, North. Let's see, Gato. Okay, prize money. How much are we going to get? Oh, 11.6 million. Not bad. It's going to put us right above 10 million. We have 10.1 million dollars now, which is quite lovely. Uh, let's check out the manager of the season. It was from Firebird, uh, Firebird MRT, Hugo Cumberland. All right, good for you. Congratulations. Driver of the season was Jean-Pierre Girard, also from Firebird. He didn't win the championship, but... Apparently he was good enough to be the driver of the season. Both champ retires. See, there we go. And Jaw as well. So yeah, definitely. Both of the Garuda Racing drivers have retired. They're going to be getting promoted up to the Asian uh, Pacific Super Cup. And that's going to be interesting because they'll actually be able to uh, go ahead and hire two much better drivers. Because they, they have the great cars, right? So they'll probably do fairly well up there. Now let's see, the two seven, uh, 2017 rules are now active, which the only thing that really changed was they replaced the Black Sea Track F with Track C, which I don't really remember what that did. And then uh, we got grooved tires now, which I also don't remember exactly what that is. And then let's check out the 2017 promotions and relegations. Uh, Espirit GP has been promoted to the World Motorsport, good for them. Chariot Motor Group has uh, gone down to the Asia Pacific Super Cup. And then Garuda has gone up, and then Kruger Motorsport has dropped down. So Kruger, they might be the guys to beat next season. We will see about that. However, that is it for these, uh, this episode, episode 10 of the first season of No Slack Racing on Motorsport Manager. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the season. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of the Motorsport Manager series. There will definitely be more to come. And hopefully I'll see you guys on one of the other videos, Prison Architect, Sim Airport, and um, RimWorld, Zombieland Edition. So yeah, until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.